Oh, hi. Thank you for dropping in. My name is Aaron, and I would like to welcome you. Thank you so much for taking the time to visit with me today. Thank you for reading that article and for clicking on that link which brought you to this video. I think some of the reason why you are here right now watching this video is because you feel frustrated. You've been living in Canada for a long time. You've been trying and working so hard to fit in to your new home here in Canada, and it seems to be going really slow. You're probably struggling to make yourself understood. Many of the people that I know who live here around me from Latin America, from Mexico, from Colombia, they tell me that they've studied English, they had a good foundation or so they thought, but when they arrived here, it just feels like they get stuck. And you know, one of my really good friends shared something with me that just resonated so deeply. He said, I feel like I have two personalities. I feel like I have my Spanish personality, which allows me to speak, you know, just like, like I, I need to. I, I'm fluent in Spanish. I can say everything that I want to say. I can tell great jokes. I have things in my mind and I can freely express them. I, I'm outgoing. But when I try to use English, I feel like this another personality takes over and I'm shy. I, I don't feel like I can say what I really want to say. I don't tell good jokes in English. I, I'm not able to express myself fully. And that's so frustrating for me. I just feel stuck. Is that how you feel today? That you feel like you have two personalities, a Spanish personality where, where you're fully you, and an English personality where you feel like a version of yourself that's not really you? That's so frustrating, isn't it? And I totally get how that feels because I used to live in Mexico. I used to live in Mexico City. I lived there for 16 years, but I went without any Spanish. I didn't take any Spanish classes here in Canada before I left. I had to learn it while living there through going through the experience of being immersed in a language, being immersed in the culture and just not having really another choice. I had to learn or I couldn't make my life work. But you know something? I discovered something that I was doing that was working against me. And I have a hunch or I am betting that maybe it's happening to you too. When I was in Mexico, I slowly, on, not on purpose, but I started to build around myself a bubble. It was something that I couldn't see. It's not something that I thought about beforehand but it's something that I did. I surrounded myself with English. I had friends who were fully fluent in Spanish and in English. My girlfriend who I met there in Mexico, she was fully, fully fluent in Spanish and in English, which is how we first met. And thankfully she, she later became my wife, but you know, the both of us together, we spent most of our time talking in English. She tried to help me with Spanish. She tried to teach me new vocabulary words and I tried to learn, but it was just easier and faster and simpler just to talk in English. The TV shows that I watched, the movies that I watched, all of it was in English. And to make matters worse, my work was also in English. I was an English teacher. I taught English for over 16 years and every day, that's all I had to do. Use my English for my work. Use my English to, to interact with my friends and to listen to music and to watch TV. It was all in English. Around me was this English bubble. And the only times I really had to use my Spanish skills, very little Spanish skills, was when I had to get on a bus or go to the grocery store or have very simple interactions with people. So I didn't get to practice very much. And so my Spanish didn't grow, at least not as fast as I wanted it to, until I started to notice my bubble. And so that's what I want to ask you about today. 
do you think that maybe you have a bubble around you living here in Canada? Have you built a Spanish bubble around you? And, and I totally get why. You, it's to help us to feel safe. It's to help us to feel like we're not so alone. It's to help us to not miss our family and our friends, our culture as much. I totally get that because that's why I built my English bubble. It's like a survival mechanism. And for a while, it serves a purpose. It does help us. But there comes a point where that bubble, where your Spanish bubble that you have around you, it starts to work against you. It starts to pull you back. It's, it keeps you from making the progress that you need to be making and that you want to make. So is that you? If, if you looked around in your life today, what percentage of it is in Spanish and what percentage of it is in English? I'm willing to bet that around you today, you have that English bubble. And what I want to invite you into today, my friend, is, is an opportunity to work together. I want to tell you about a service that I'm working on that is meant to help you. It's only for Latinos living in Canada. I want to build with you a, a community of people working hard to pop their bubble of Spanish and to connect with English and to start thriving, to start doing much better in English than just surviving with it, than just feeling frustrated with it all the time and not knowing how to break free. That's what this service is all about. It's about building community with other people who are working on their English skills so that you don't feel like you're alone with it anymore and so that you have people that you can be talking to in English and practicing. It's a community where you will be able to practice your listening skills and your reading skills, everything that you need to begin to thrive in English. And most of all, it's designed to help you pop that bubble and make real progress with English. If that sounds like it's interesting to you, if you want to become a part of this community, I want to invite you to click that link. By clicking that link, you'll be telling me, yes, I'm interested. I want to know more. And once we have it ready, once this community is ready to start, you will be the first to know so that you can join and so that we can work together to improve your English. If you're tired of struggling, if you're try tired of being alone and feeling alone on this journey, click that link and we'll work together. Have a good day.